You're saying they're brainwashing. Okay, you're saying yep. these people that are experts in brainwashing is using the Department of Education to brainwash yep. our children. Yes. What are they after? Why are they doing it? Well, you, if you want to move a country from a, a free individualistic economy, which we have, yes, or have, or had, okay, to a planned economy, uh, you have to do it through the schools. You have to dumb down and brainwash change the attitudes and values you have to completely uh, social engineering has to go on constantly and many teachers know what i'm talking about we know it's happening we know that it has been happening across the world but really in america for the past 80 years folks let me tell you something there should have never been a separation of church and state it's actually unconstitutional there is a Bible from the 1700s that has approved for schools by Congress in the front of it. Why is that, Sam? I thought there was separation of church and state. There was never supposed to be the removal of God from public schools. When they did that, it allowed sin to take hold of children's minds. When they did that, it took away the ability to actually think and they began to basically build little robots for jobs. That's it. That's what public school does to your children nowadays. All it does is build the next group of workers that will not question, that cannot create. In the image of their creator, they don't have ability to produce anything. Think about what I'm saying to you. America was once a country that produced. We produced the most beautiful, long-lasting things on earth coming out of this country. The same out of Europe. There was a, it was a country that could produce. Over the past 80 years, we began to be a country that consumed. We consumed. Look around you. If you can't see gluttony everywhere that you look, I'm not white. Welcome back, guys. My name is Samantha. I am the owner-operator of a two-acre farmstead here in South Louisiana. And the only thing that I do with these videos is try to show you the hypocrisy, the lies, and the evident evil that's staring you straight in your face. So YouTube and people in the world hate truth, but for the ones of you that love it, please consider rowing with us. I don't care if you send a dollar. I don't care if you send 50 cents or 50,000. It's not a big deal to me. Anything you can do to help us stay on the air is appreciative. Look at the top of comments. There's five different ways that you can row in our boat. Century when the Rockefeller Foundation and the Carnegie Corporation were deeply involved in education. And that it was decided then that Carnegie would deal with the international part and Rockefeller domestic. So they commissioned the American Historical Association to put together uh, a study of the social, social studies. And they came up with... Uh, uh, lots of volumes, but I have one little volume, Conclusions and Recommendations for the Social Studies. And basically that little one, is it called for changing the United States through the schools from a free individualistic economy to a, a socialist, collectivized, planned economy in the new world order. It, now, I once was a public education teacher. I taught in public schools for seven and a half years. I have four certifications to teach. I ran a class A daycare. I taught daycare workers how to do their job. I seeded a Montessori private school and I've homeschooled for people. I have a very rich and varied background in education. So please understand when I tell you guys that unfortunately our children's brains are under attack, I do truly mean that. I really do. Public school does not educate your children anymore. In fact, if you think I'm lying, and I know it's scary. Let me just start with this. I know it's scary to think you have to teach your children what you think you, your children need to know. But that's actually your job description as a parent. Second, when you look at kids coming out of public schools today, how many of them know anything that's actually correct? or can hold a conversation with you, or can control themselves emotionally? How many of them? Very few. 
Because they're being indoctrinated, friends. They're being indoctrinated for this. And that book was written when? In 1934. By who? It was the Carnegie Corporation paid for it. Uh, to the, the American Historical Association put it together. Wow. And, uh, and do people get that book in the library? Uh, no. No? No. <laughs> no, but, uh, no, they can't. They were very instrumental in getting the Elementary and Secondary Education Act passed, which, as I said before, changed education from knowledge, content-based, academic, to performance-based behavior. Uh, and from that time on, because that was necessary for what we're looking at now with school to work, school to work agenda is the planned economy is performance based. So they're they're training workers. They're training not little, thinkers, worker not based. leaders. Exactly. So here's my thing: get your kids out of public school. I know what you're going to say because I hear it all the time. Excuse number one: I'm a single parent. Excuse number two: We don't have enough money. Excuse number three: I don't know how to teach my kids. Excuse number four, I need them in school for all the other reasons I just mentioned. Stop making excuses. Let me tell you how you do it. Join a church. You encourage someone in the church to sort a school. You help seed the school. That's what seeding means. You help build something. Instead of taking all the time, folks, I need you to start thinking about how you can produce something. You figure it out. You have a community get together and you find some stay at home moms you all pay them a few bucks every week to educate your children you're blessing her and you'll be blessed for it but it's going to take a little bit of finagling with your finances you heard me i just don't understand why anybody has their babies in a public school at this day and time they're dangerous they're not just dangerous if your children are white you had better hear me now there's something called equity punishment and if your child is white and a other child of any race hurts is racist towards your child or anything else they will not be punished accordingly because it's not equitable i'm not joking president trump had to write an entire executive order about equity punishment and how it was wrong that is how we got Carmelo Anthony stabbing a white kid, bringing a knife to school for the second time because the first time he wasn't punished because he was black. That's the truth. That's what equity punishment is. If you don't believe me, do your own research. He basically recommended getting rid of the conscience. Wow. Yes. And he said we would do it through the schools. We would retrain the teachers to be little psychiatrists. He said it is an international system they're looking at. They're going to change the behavior of the children. They're going to change the teachers' training. They're going to do everything. He told they're them They're training social justice warriors. Why is that, Sam? Because they need little anarchists. They need little thugs. They need angry, disillusioned young people that will riot in the name of social justice. Folks, for the love of God, if America is not social justice, nowhere on earth is social justice. The craziest thing about this is they have the poor hating the middle class. They have the middle class hating the rich. They have the little man hating the boss man. They have the blacks hating the whites. They have the heterosexuals really not liking the trans and the trans thinking that they're victims. And all of it is on purpose. Every bit of it. Every, every bit of it is a stage coup of your brain. And the shame of it is the majority of people cannot even open up their brain enough to absorb that. You have black people in America walking around like they're actual victims. Of what? What are you a victim of? Historical black universities? Free everything? Top of the list for hiring? Companies get tax deductions for hiring you from the federal government. Come on now. You can say what you want, but equality equal means everybody and everything is equal. It means when you're watching horse races, a couple of those horses aren't weighted down with five, 10, 20 pound blocks because, oh my gosh, they're faster than the others. Yeah, when you really open your eyes to the fact that everything is rigged so that 
the least able can feel good about themselves. The least able have a shot at playing with the big people. You don't have to, to look very hard to see why we have a mediocre society. This is not how you bring out the best in society. Because when it all crashes down, and eventually, folks, it is, all things come to an end. Only the strong and the able are going to survive it. People who are used to having things done for them, for things given to them, they'll starve. It's happening in South Africa right now. That's what I got for you where education is concerned. Hang around, folks. I've got some more good stuff coming later this afternoon. Like, comment, and subscribe.